Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rich Edge Hunts. It's Friday, it's two pound coin time, so we'll get the book out, have a look. What do we need? Three Commonwealths. We have everything else with the exception of the um, edge inscription error for the tragedies. We've got a sleeping cat, which I'll take as a partial flag, I suppose. Um, so what else? We've, we've had a nice few territories. Um, the peace stuff. And, um, oh yes. The 90 degree rotation error on the active union. Right, so we've got two bags. Um, 13th and 20th of April. So we'll go with the old bag first. Sealed bags in a, in a sealed bag. Camberley. So let's just get in and get on, shall we? Okay, let's start lighting. Because it's getting lighter in the evening, so I'm struggling with my lighting at the moment. Uh, yeah. That's as bright as it will go. Okay, uh, nice, we have tears. So let's zoom in just a little bit and crack on there. Okay, so, Commonwealths. Um, oh look, none in there. No commemoratives at all in there. Which is a great start. Oh, that's had a hard life. That's not bad for a 98, actually. Shame it wasn't a 99. Might be worth a couple of quid. Mm. I might keep that just to check my date runs against my date run. Oh, there's our first commemorative, and it's the V Day anniversary celebrations at St. Paul's Cathedral. something Shakespeare yeah, Shakespeare's comedies there we go first one of those oh and there's a Charles Darwin I keep saying that's gonna end up being a keeper but I'm not sure if I'm quite the since I started saying that <laughs> there's uh, 1807 actually abolition of the slave trade that's quite a busy little bank wasn't it Swiftly followed by another bass. Oh, there's the First World War, Army Centenary, no rotation error. And, uh, yeah, for King and Country, so that's the correct edge inscription. Nothing else. We'll check through the technologies after the hunt for any rotations, double dies, that sort of thing. Let you know beginning of the next hunt. Unless, of course, I spot one on the way past. Well, this is a great hunt so far. Oof. 
There's another St. Paul's. Oh, what's that going to be? Shakespeare's Tragedies. Piece of work, so that is the correct edge inscription. Just the histories we're missing now. Oh, and there's another St. Paul's. Quite a nice condition, that one. And there it is. The Shakespeare's history is completing that little mini set. There we go. Not a bus. And another. What's that going to be? Oh, it's another army. No rotation and. King and country. Yeah, so that's correct. St. Paul's number four. Charles Dickens. St. Paul's number five. Wow. Another Charles Dickens. Nothing else. That's going to be a Britannia, isn't it? 2016 on it. Yes. There you go. 2016 Britannia. Not in the best condition, that one. But technically, a keeper. Nothing else. Another Shakespeare's Histories. What's that going to be? Another Britannia. And Brunel's Achievements. The Arches at Paddington Station. Tube train. Hey. Proper keeper. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? 2012. Ah, Dickens. 2015. Magna Carta. Wow. One bag can change everything, can't it? And another 1807 abolition of the slave trade. It's gone from a fairly average hunt to a pretty decent one quite quickly. That's nice. What's just going to be a best now? Yep. <laughs> oh, another Britannia. 2016 again. Nothing else. Rugby World Cup. Very 
nice. Nice bit of variety, no? Look at the condition on that. Wow. You normally don't find these in good condition because they're so intricate. They pick up a lot of grime. But that's been must have been sitting in a collection somewhere. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll be keeping that one. That's definitely a book upgrade. Nice. Right, so last couple of bags then. That was the best. Final bag of the first 500. That's another big ends. No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's the other one. Brilliant. Rio handover. Oh, wow. And another Britannic. No, it's another Shakespeare. Right. Okay, that's the first bag done. Right, bag two. What's this, a week later? Yeah, exactly a week. Exactly a week later, so let's see what this one has for us. Will it be half as good? Who knows? Obviously, I haven't got as much room for these, so... There we are. That's, there's my hand there. There's no bags past there. Same on the bottom. Same on the top. Right. So everything is just about in view. Right. Okay. On we go. Oh, damn. Forgot to change my pots over. My tubs. First one's the best, anyway. Moved everything now, haven't I? Yeah. Is everything still in shot? Yes, close enough at least. Right, home we go. Nothing there. Is that going to be? It's another Shakespeare's histories. Another abolition of the slave trade. That looks weird. Buster Rooney. St. Paul's again. Six of those now. There's another Trevithic. The nice one on top. <laughs> Nothing there. Another bust. Couple of very shiny 2014s. Oh, there we go. Navy Centenary. Very nice indeed. 
good four pound coin that one minimum I would say it is only 650,000 mintage after all oh, I don't know. two pounds just don't seem to uh, be as collectible as 50p's I suppose I don't know Bigger investment, I suppose, in a bigger layout. But I will say, two pounds are my favourite to hunt. I've got to say. And now we're going to find a few in a two pound hunt, but that's fine. It's where my passion for coins started. I suppose, two pounds. Well, there's another Charles Dickens. And another 1807. Almost catching up with St. Paul's, that, no? Huh? And the Dickens, mind, there's four of them there as well. Hmm, nah. Nothing that. Nothing there either. Another Charles Dickens. Nothing again. That just didn't look right. When I first saw it, it's fine. Yeah. Look on. Maybe the light reflecting strangely off it. Oh, crud. Was just that one, wasn't it? Act of Union. No rotation. Have we had one of those? No, we haven't. Wow. Thought we had. Hmm. Uh, I may be going crazy. No surprise to those that know me. Is that going to be another Britannia or something else? It's another Britannia. Yeah, another 2016 Britannia. Four of those. There we have a Brunel's portrait and a Florence Nightingale and another Act of Union and another Dickens. Golden Guinea, that's in nice condition as well. Yeah, that's another one that will go into my collection as well, I think. Nice. Last one, two, three, four. Last five bags.
Can't really expect much more, can we? He's done more than all right. 16? Yes, of course. Wow. I don't think I've found five Britannias in a hunt for a long time. Oh, there's a DNA. One of my favourite designs, that one. Another St. Paul's. You're obviously getting worried because the Britannia was catching up. And a Lord Kitchener. A check for the mule, of course. Nah, it says two pounds on the bottom, so it is not the mule era coin. Um, right, let's move these. Because my OCD is a thing. Um, so we'll put those there like that. So the three First World Wars are in a nice, neat row there. And we'll put that one back there. Uh, let's put Darwin down there and Dickens up there. There. Okay. That's my OCD somewhat located. Last 30 coins. Another act of union there. No rotation. Ah. Another navy. Very nice. Fun. Fantastic, in fact. Oh, final bag then. St. Paul's. And that is that. Well, unsurprisingly, I'm uh, quite happy with that result. That's pretty good, to be fair. A nice selection of coins and a nice selection of keepers as well. I'll take that any day and a possible upgrade for my day run. We'll see. Right. Oh, yes, I forgot. Book upgrade as well. Definitely for that one. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next hunt. Bye for now.